been some issues with algal blooms, uh, especially over at Verona Beach the last few weeks. And our Josh Martin uh, has the latest on the algal blooms going on uh, over there. Any uh, new developments? Are they expected to be open this week with the warmer weather coming, Josh? Well, John, if you were looking to cool off in some of the water behind me, the answer from the State Parks and Rec Department is still no. This beach has been closed for three weeks due to a toxic algal bloom. There are plenty of campers here today, but a lot of those spots are booked months in advance when there's no way of telling if the water is going to be clear to swim in. But you take your chance when you book, hoping that it's going to be, you know, okay to swim. And then when you come, you just have to deal with it. Now, no swimmers means there's not really a demand for lifeguards. The state parks and rec department tells us that the lifeguards that normally work here have been re relocated to other state parks. We ran into a family of cousins that was hoping to swim here today, but they found out as they got to the park that they weren't allowed to. So coming up at 6, we'll tell you some interesting ways that the park is doing to help people stay cool in this warm weather. For now, live at Verona Beach, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. All right, Josh, thanks very much. Well, swimming is also still banned at Oneida Shores, a county park, due to high levels of E. coli there. The health department is monitoring the lake water and will allow swimming once bacteria is at an acceptable level. In honor